These are the biggest drones I've ever seen, and they might just change the way America looks at agriculture. We're going to talk all about it. Don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are talking about two of the biggest drones I've ever seen, and this is new competition in the United States in terms of the drone world and in terms of drones for agriculture specifically. So this is a good thing. We're talking about the XAG P100 and the P100 Pro. Now Michael and I recently had the opportunity to head down to Edina, Missouri to check out the newest from XAG with a company named Pegasus Robotic. Now Pegasus Robotic has the exclusive North American rights to the P100 and the P100 Pro. So what better place to go check them out than with the folks at Pegasus in Edina. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the features of the P100 and the P100 Pro, and we're gonna tell you why the P100 has the title of Pro to it. But just because it's called the Pro doesn't mean it's gonna be right for you. You might prefer the P100 instead. So we're gonna talk about all of that. But before we get started, I gotta thank the sponsor of today's video. That is Autopilot. Autopilot is an app that allows you to get FAA Lance approval in controlled airspace. You just punch in the address and the time that you wanna fly, and then hit submit. Once you hit submit, the FAA is going to get that submission and they are going to grant you approval as long as obviously you're in the correct controlled airspace. It's quick and it's easy. And you know, we really don't do these sort of paid promotion type things uh, ever. Like this is really one of the first ones we've done. And, and the only reason we agreed to do it uh, was because we actually believe in the product. We've used it. I am now solely using autopilot to get FAA uh, Lance approval when we go out on our missions on a job or if we're going out to do demos for somebody I am actually using autopilot when we do that it's a great tool and I suggest everybody download it from the app store you're not going to regret it all right but let's move on to talking about the XAG P100 and P100 Pro let's start with portability So both of these drones are huge. As I said, the P100 is about eight by eight feet. The P100 Pro is like nine and a half by nine and a half feet. So these things are both really, really big drones uh, when you've got everything sprawled out and you've got the props completely uh, set out as well. Now the P100 Pro, it actually folds up. It gets all the way down to like three and a half feet to two feet, nine inches. So once you fold it up, it's not that big. Uh, whereas the P100 does not fold. So that is the size it's going to be. You can obviously take the arms off if you want to, uh, but it does not actually fold up the way the P100 Pro does. Next up, let's talk about modularity. Now, both of these drones are very modular. You can actually swap out the spreader and the sprayer really, really quickly. It's really as simple as taking the drone part, unlatching it, pulling it off of like the sprayer, then moving it over to the spreader, putting it back down and locking it down. So very, very modular. The other great thing about the modularity is everything can basically be taken off. So if something breaks, if an arm breaks, something like that, uh, you're just gonna be able to replace it with a, a brand new arm. So everything is very modular. Even some of the plugs that go with it, you can change those yourself. Uh, they're sort of under the hood of the drone, but everything is very, very modular, which makes it really, really convenient when you go to get it fixed or when you have to pack it away for a certain amount of time, you can really break it all down. Next up is weatherproofing. Now that both of these are weather rated, you can take both of these and spray them down with a hose. That's the other great thing about the modularity is that you can take all this stuff apart and clean it out. So you can clean out the pesticide really easily just using a hose or you can clean off the top of it. Say it gets dirty or say it's got pesticide on it from the flight. Uh, you can clean it all down really easily with a hose and it is not gonna hurt the drone whatsoever. All right, let's talk about the payloads here. So the P100 can carry about 10 and a half gallons of liquid uh, pesticide, whereas the P100 Pro can carry about 13 gallons. So you are getting considerably more uh, with the P100 Pro. So these drones are getting very, very heavy, but both of these drones can carry considerable payloads. It's up to you whether you're gonna want one that can carry a little bit more like the Pro does. All right, talking about flight time, the P100 gets about 10 minutes of flight time per set of batteries. Uh, the P100 Pro gets about 15 minutes. Now I know that might not sound like a lot of time in the air, but both of these drones will travel up to 31 miles an hour uh, when they're fulfilling their mission. So these drones move really, really fast and are able to put down a, a lot of spray in a really quick amount of time. All right, so the spray width on the P100 is gonna be about 25 feet when it's about 12 feet high, whereas the P100 Pro is gonna be 30 feet at the same height, about 12 feet. 
So you are getting a little extra again with that P100 Pro. So how much ground can these drones actually cover? So they say that the P100 will cover about 60 acres an hour uh, while it's spraying. So that's 60 acres an hour for the P100. You're obviously gonna get less than that depending on the weather, um, but they rate it at about 60 acres an hour, whereas the P100 Pro is gonna get you 70 acres an hour. So considerably more acreage uh, with that P100 Pro. Both the P100 and the P100 Pro are outfitted with RTK. Uh, there are base stations you can get for that. So what is RTK? It stands for real-time kinematics. Essentially, it's GPS on steroids. It's gonna give you centimeter level accuracy on your flight. So if you're flying around and you've got the RTK, it's going to be very, very precise. Like I said, centimeter level accuracy. Whereas if you're flying without RTK, uh, you're looking more at like three to four feet, it can be off. Uh, so the RTK is great if you need those really, really precise flights. And we honestly recommend it when you're working with these farming drones. Now, both of these drones also have FPV cameras on the front. They don't move at all. You can't do anything with it. It literally is just looking straight ahead. Uh, but that's for the pilot. If you are sort of out of sorts, you're not sure where you're at, that's a good way to get your bearings is by looking at that FPV camera. Interesting thing about the XAG P100 Pro is that it actually has a mapping camera on it. So in a pinch, if you needed to do some mapping, uh, you could actually do it with the P100 Pro. It's, it's even got a mechanical shutter on it, uh, which is a great thing. The P100 does not have uh, a mapping camera on it, but the P100 Pro does. Again, most people are not going to opt to map with a gigantic spraying drone, but in a pinch, if you needed to do it, you absolutely could. They both have dynamic radar, obstacle avoidance, and terrain follow, which is a great thing because that means as the drone is flying, uh, if there's a tree in the way, it's not going to run into that tree. Or if it is uh, flying low above some crops, it will actually follow the terrain as opposed to, you know, just flying straight. Um, it's going to actually follow the terrain. So that's great. They both have that. The P100 does have an upgraded obstacle avoidance system. It's a 4D obstacle avoidance system whereas the P100 is a 3D obstacle avoidance system. So that is a big upgrade there uh, for the P100 play. Next up is something I have never seen before. They have water-cooled batteries. So you literally have a bucket filled with water, you plug your batteries into the generator, and then put the batteries into water. So yes, you're mixing electricity and batteries. It might sound like a horrible idea, uh, but it really is beneficial on cooling these batteries down, getting them charged up quickly, and getting them put out back in the field. So water-cooled batteries, a first for me, but maybe we're going to see more and more of this technology if it really is better. Now, with this drone, you actually have a few ways that you can control the drone. You have a standard remote controller, you know, with the sticks and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, you have a one-handed remote where you can fly with that remote. You can also fly and plan through uh, the XAG app as well. So uh, several ways to plan and actually execute your flights. It's really up to you the way you want to do it. You could have all three options if you wanted to. Obviously, the app is a no-brainer. Uh, but you, whether you want that one-handed remote or you want the standard remote is really up to you. So both of these drones, the P100 and the P100 Pro, are fully autonomous. So you plan your field, you plan the map that you want this drone to fly, and then you hit go. The drone is going to fly by itself. It's going to go up to the height that you set. It's then going to go through its route and spray until it runs out of battery or until it runs out of pesticide. It's going to come back to you. You're going to refill it, and it's going to go right back where it left off and continue on its mission. All right, now the answer to the question that everyone wants to know, how much do these giant spraying and spreading drones cost? Well, the XAG P100 comes in at between $35,000 and $45,000, depending on all the things you're going to get, extra batteries, uh, generator, blah, 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 whatever you're going to get, uh, it's between $35,000 and $45,000. The P100 Pro is between $45,000 and $55,000. So both of these drones, they are expensive. These are not cheap drones that are fun to fly. These are workhorses. These are tools for your farm. So yes, they are expensive, but depending on your purposes, they might be absolutely worth it. All right, that's all we got time for today. We want to thank you guys for stopping by. If you guys are interested in more information on the XAG drones, make sure you reach out to us. Phone number and email are on the screen. 
Uh, we'd be happy to talk more to you about it. We want to thank the folks from Pegasus Robotics for having us down and showing us the ropes of the XAG drone lineup. And one more thank you again to our sponsor, Autopilot. Make sure you download the app if you need FAA Lance approval. We appreciate everybody stopping by. We'll see you next time.